Right, so um, I thought I'd start doing a few product reviews for you, um, mainly like six month testing of products, um, because most of the reviews and things I've seen online are for people trying to sell you stuff. Like, they're not going to tell you a product shit if they're trying to flog it to you, are they? So I thought I'd just do some proper real, real life testing, just stuff that I use uh, on a day to day basis when I'm fishing, and just try and give you a bit of review on uh, on what I think is good and bad about a certain product try and give you a bit of an insight but um, just my opinions some people might have completely different ideas on what they want for certain situations but um, this is just my ideas on product but um, I'm not sponsored by anyone um, I've got no loyalties to any customers so everything I review is I've paid for myself um, so it's all honest reviews the first one I'm going to do today is the coated hook link from ESP, um, the tungsten loaded, which is their, well, I say new, it's probably been out about a year or so now, but um, it's the one that uh, when they released it was raving that uh, Terry Hearn himself had all the development and uh, was saying it's the best uh, hook link he's ever used, which is incredibly bold claims uh, <laughs> from, from someone that's been in the ang angling so long. But um, I've been using this pretty much since it came out, uh, on and off. I mean, I have swapped about it a little bit. Um, but uh, this is the main one I use. I use the uh, semi-stiff version uh, in weedy green for nearly all my fishing, really. Um, unless oh, there really is like, a crappy bottom, then I might use something a bit softer. Um, something like the jelly wire or something. But um, yeah, it's a really, really not good product. I'm really impressed with it. It's probably the best coated that I've used. Um, I just, I just, just does everything you need it to really. Uh, it's really, really strong. I've not had any problems with it. Um, I fish quite a lot of snaggy, um, up close and tight to trees, pads, and I've never had a hook link been cut through or anything, or um, or have any even real nicks or damage on it that much. Um, so it seems to be really abrasion resistant. Um, not strength seems to be really good. Um, Lays them. Um, nowadays basically increased knot strength and non-slip knots uh, on the coating. Uh, I feel it's a bit of a problem when coated hook links were first about but I don't think knot slipping these days are much of a problem on them. I've, I've, I've certainly never come across it in any of my fishing. I've never had a knot come undone. I mainly fish um, figure of eight loop knot um, to a quick link um, and that's never never slipped or came undone for me. So always been, been solid. Um, thing I do really like about it is they do do say uh, you can just take it straight off the spool and it is um, you don't need to steam it straight but there is a bit of a kink in it it's not perfect I mean it's stored on a round spool so it's always gonna have a bit of a bit of a bend in it but if you do steam it it just goes poker poker straight it's brilliant really it stays stays straight so it also I found with um, with it, it peels and strips back really nicely. Uh, it's really, really smooth, um, and this braid once you've taken the coating off is super, super supple. Uh, it's really, really nice. And where you strip it back, it leaves a real nice, neat little little clump. You, I mean, you can take it off. I mean, you can pull it right off, strip it bare. But uh, when I peel back on, say, combi rigs, drop it there. Um, I like to leave the actual coat and peeled back, gives you something to mould the putty around. Um, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't fracture, and when you start peeling back on some coated braids, it starts buckling up the coat and further down on the hook link, and uh, that can be really annoying. Um, that just gives, starts giving you weird kinks in the hook link then. But if you start peeling it back, it doesn't seem to um, bend any further back at all. It's really, really nice. Um, I like the colouring on it. It's quite a nice matte finish. They have got like a speckledy, like deeper dark, it looks almost blackish, I suppose it's meant to be a dark green on the weed. Um, every now and then, like flicks of it. One thing I have found about it, which is a bit bit of a downer, I don't know it's their manufacturing technique, if it's meant to be random or what, but sometimes you can go half a meter's worth or something with none of the speckled bit, it'll just be the plain matte, like low color. I've had that in a couple of spools now, I thought maybe it's just a one-off on the first spool I had, but nearly all the spools I've had have had this at some point. But the colour's lovely as it is, it doesn't really need that speckly, I don't know how much it really brings. 
it's meant to break the outline of the hook link up on the bottom but um, I, I, I'm not really too fussed about that as long as it blends in quite well and it's a nice matte colour um, yeah but it sinks really really well as well it is meant to be loaded with tungsten the uh, coating so it does sink really well I mean I always put a couple of bits of putty on the rigs I like to use to help kick it away and just to help pull the hook down but um, yeah it doesn't doesn't float up or anything like that but nearly all coating these days are pretty pretty good at sinking so yeah it's, it's, I've been using it for probably getting on for a year since it came out I'm not really sure how long that is now um, well, other than the odd one as I say but it is brilliant I really really like the stuff I haven't used it in the soft um, I've only used it in the weedy uh, weedy green semi stiff uh, which is £20 um, but yeah absolutely love it uh, it's real nice nice stiffness it's not too stiff it's not poker it's not going to stick up over Twix or or rocks sometimes they can be a bit too stiff if you if you're not really sure what you're fishing over um, but it does if you have crickety balanced baits so I usually have a wafter or snowman or something it does really just kick away nicely from the lead um, so yes yeah, just a quick overview of uh, the tungsten uh, it comes in uh, one thing comes in 10 meter spools a lot of the spools these days are 15 or 20 meters so it is a bit smaller but then again it is is priced to that is usually around nine pounds something like that and um, for most shops you can get it from uh, real good value real solid hook link it's not going to let you down and uh yeah really good product